it hasn't really set in yet. A husband, wife, and sister seeing their Olympic dreams come true at the same time. It's all love and it's friendly competition. Talk about keeping it all in the family. Three hurdlers, all University of Michigan graduates, all heading to the Summer Olympics in Rio. Our Kimberly Gale shows us how they support one another, even when they're competing against each other. It's afternoon hurdle practice on the track at the University of Michigan for Tiffany Porter and her younger sister, Cindy Ophelia. Yeah. You're taller, you're faster, we all know that. Tiffany's husband, Jeff, is there, but it's not his turn to run. I call myself a, a volunteer as needed coach. <laughs> All are Wolverines. Tiffany and Cindy will compete in the women's 100 meter hurdles for Great Britain. Jeff will compete in the men's 110 meter hurdles for Team USA. Each focused on their own race and on supporting each other to achieve Olympic greatness. We try to keep everybody grounded. Um, we try to keep everyone focused on what we have to do. It's really cool to be honest. He's my, my biggest supporter and I'm his biggest supporter. Jeff and Tiffany met and fell in love as students of U of M. Married six years, they've made Canton their home, understanding each other as spouses and international athletes. It really helps that I have somebody in my career field that understands this crazy lifestyle that us athletes have. <laughs> When I have a bad day at the track, um, he knows kind of what to say to cheer me up and ways that we can fix a problem, which I think is invaluable. But at the same time, he also understands that we might need to kind of scale it back a little bit and just not talk about track at the dinner table. Competitions often keep this racing couple apart. Right now, Tiffany is training overseas and Jeff is in the U.S., but they will be reunited in Rio. I don't really like when Tiffany's away from home for so long but these are kind of sacrifices that we have to make. Their love for each other and their family keeps them strong even when they're apart. We're just all there as a family affair. We're unstoppable, I think. And I think the reason why is because we, we challenge each other, we hold each other accountable, but we're there to support each other. It's really a dream come true. You know, they're great athletes and I just really want to achieve what they have done. Go, go, come on, come on, push. This is Cindy's first Olympics and when she competes, it will be against her big sister, Tiffany. I just love being able to stand next to her on that line and she pushes me in every way. She's my best friend and I think um, even though we are competitors and when we're on that track, we're both fierce competitors and we both want to win. But at, once we cross that line, it's like, okay, you're my sister again. And what are sisters without a little rivalry? Tiffany jokingly said years ago, the day my baby sister beats me is the day I retire from track and field. So that's my goal and I think she knows that now. So she's realizing maybe she shouldn't have said that, but I mean, we'll see how the future rolls. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen anytime soon, but she definitely keeps me on my toes and she keeps me motivated and focused for sure. A family focused on doing their best for each other and their countries in Rio. We're all trying to uh, achieve this Olympic dream at the same time, so it's gonna be fun. And Jeff describes this Olympics as a business trip. He says they wanna be focused on doing their best on the track and we wish them well. I'm Kimberly Gill, back to you.